Hello friends, today we are going to see how to store two stacks in one array. So let's see how to do it. There are two approaches for storing two stacks in one array. So let's see the first approach. In the first approach, we divide the array into two parts. So let us divide this array into two parts. The size of the array is 8. So when we divide it into two parts, then 8 by 2 that is equal to 4 is the size of each stack. The first array that is the first part of this array is called as stack 1 and the second part is called as stack 2. For the first part push 1 and pop 1 are the operations and for the second part push 2 and pop 2 are the operations for the stack 2. Now let's see the size of the stack. So the stack 1 extend from 0 to n by 2 minus 1. So here it goes from 0 to 3 as n by 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. So it will go from 0 to 3. Now from 0 to 3 is stack 1 and from n by 2 to n minus 1 that is 4 to 7. 4 to 7 is the stack 2. Now there is a question that if the size of the array is odd, suppose it is 9, then what will happen? So then the first array will be of size 4 and the second array will have one extra cell. Means the second array will be of size 1 more than the first array. Okay, so the first array will be of size 4 and second will be of 5 if the total size is 9 that is odd size. So let's see what is the disadvantage of this approach. Now suppose if you start pushing into stack 1, so let's push A then push B, C, D. And when you call push 1 now for pushing E, it cannot be pushed because this stack is full. So this stack will overflow. But if you observe carefully, there are still cells empty. So there is a place in this array but not in this stack. Because the stack 1 is over but there is space in this array. So, even if there is space in the array, the stack gets overflowed. That is the disadvantage of this method. If we implement two stacks in this array by dividing the array. Now, how to overcome this disadvantage? So, that is done in approach 2. So, in approach 2, the first array starts from 0 and the second array starts from n minus 1. And these two arrays go in opposite directions. Okay. So, after A, if we insert B, it will be inserted in this uh, array at the first position. Means in this direction, in the right direction. And after P for stack 2, this is the stack 2 here. So for P, then if we push the next element, then next element will be pushed at position 6. Which means this array extends in left direction and this array extends in right direction. So the advantage is that if all the cells in this array are used space efficiently means there is space efficiency in this array and the stack overflow condition for this array is if top 1 that is this top if this top 1 plus 1 means uh, in this case if top 1 
is pointing to B that is the first cell and if we keep on inserting for stack 2 so P, Q, R, S, T and U so top 2 is here so if top 1 plus 1 is equal to equal to top 2 then we can call it as the stack overflow but you can see here when the stack is we are saying the stack is overflow then it is actually overflow there is no wastage of space but in this case even if there was space in this array we had to say overflow when only this much array is over for stack 1 ok so we have space in this array but we cannot use that space for stack 1 which needs that space but in this array there is no wastage of space so this is how we implement two stacks in one array hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you